Hello, views and PlayStation Power welcome you to this free video of the maddest, biggest and greatest show on earth. We went to E3 in Los Angeles and got the first shots of every game that matters this year. From Resident Evil 3 to Wipeout 3, Dino Crisis to Crash Team Racing, in the next 10 minutes you'll be feasting your eyes on never before seen footage of all the best games. And we've got rolling demos of PlayStation 2 as well. So strap in as Fuse in association with PlayStation Power takes you on the ride of your life. It's not all games, games, games at E3, you know. Well, it is actually. But just in case you got bored of looking at television screens all day, there was a small matter of hundreds of beautiful Californian women with nothing better to do than look, well, beautiful. The new Lara Croft would have sold on the show in any other year, but the must-see stand had to be the General Lee from the Dukes of Hazzard, with power on the hood. Just a little bit more than the law will allow? You bet. After the break, we get right in there. All the latest PlayStation 2 news is coming up, don't go changing. While toy companies cut their teeth on dolls that wet themselves, we were busy defending the entire free world. But now, the real fun begins. Mommy? Introducing the Interactor, the world's first interactive game fest that lets you feel the action. Does Liquid Snake always get the better of you when you're playing Metal Gear Solid? How about access to all weapons and infinite ammo? Action Replay Professional has thousands of codes for hundreds of the greatest PlayStation games. Discover invincibility. Action Replay Professional, the ultimate cheat code cartridge for real code junkies. Taking pride of place in the Sony stand was a metal pyramid with a TV screen on each of the four sides. No logos, not even a name. But this was Sony's new baby, and they had the armed security guards to prove it. Hidden inside was PlayStation 2, running some of the greatest graphics you've ever seen. Ducks, feathers and an old man might not sound particularly interesting, but just look at them here. Imagine what the new games will be able to do. The biggest cues of the whole show were for the playable demo of PlayStation 2's Gran Turismo. And don't forget, Sega's Dreamcast was making its American debut. Need we say any more? Yeah, we'd better. Gran Turismo was absolutely amazing to drive, amazing to look at, and it was all over far too soon. We'll take you around the finest corner of the LA Convention Center after the break. Have we done the right thing? If it isn't our place to ask. It could be our legacy. Yes, the impact on society would be irreversible. We've dedicated our lives to science. Which means that we understand progress. Maybe this is just another step. More like a leap. If we are going forward, who's going to test it? Yo, dudes, anybody got a video game? Is the world ready for the Interactor? The world's first interactive game fest that lets you feel the action. What have we done? Action Replay Professional is the ultimate cheat code cartridge for real code junkies. Pre-programmed with thousands of cheat codes for all the latest games and easily programmable with new codes. You can get the latest codes by calling the Action Replay code line, visiting the Daytel website or see the cheat pages of your favourite mags. And if you can't wait 24 hours for the latest codes, then you can hack your own using Professional's inbuilt code generator. And with the capacity of 8 15-slot memory cards built in, what are you waiting for? Available now from Accessories Direct. Call 0845 601 0015. Lines are open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. All major credit cards are accepted. Calls are charged at a low rate call. The Gran Turismo license certainly caused a commotion at E3. You've seen the PlayStation 2 version, now prepare to be amazed at the first perfect PlayStation game. The makers are boasting that Gran Turismo 2 uses 100% of PlayStation's power, and we just about agree. There's more cars, more tracks, and better graphics than ever before. No sooner we race ourselves silly around those lush tracks 
We turned around and there was Crash Racer. This is four player racing madness starring Crash Bandicoot and friends and it's better than Mario Kart 64. And after getting our cute fix with Ape Escape, Un Jamalami and Spyro 2 taking centre stage, it was time to get serious. It was time to delve deep into the fantastic world of Final Fantasy. We may have given it 93% in its Japanese incarnation, but in English the eighth part of the story is all making a lot of sense. It's far better than Final Fantasy VII, and Squaresoft even confirmed Final Fantasy IX for the current PlayStation. The world's gone mad! And to demonstrate their generosity, those lovely people at Fuse have put together a dream of a prize for you lucky viewers. There are ten top-notch prizes up for grabs. The lucky first prize winner will bag £1,000 worth of all the best games and accessories for their PlayStation. The second prize winner will pick up £250 worth. And eight runners up will all receive an action replay professional cheat cartridge. All you have to do is answer the following question Liquid Snake is a character from which legendary PlayStation game? Is it A. Gran Turismo, B. Final Fantasy VII, or C. Metal Gear Solid? If you think you know the answer, and let's face it, who doesn't, call the competition line now on 0906 302 0274 and follow the online instructions. You'll be asked for your answer and for your name and address. Lines close at midnight on the 28th of July. The winner will be picked at random by a computer and notified in next month's issue of PlayStation Power. Calls cost 50 pence a minute at all times, so get permission from whoever pays the bills before you dial. And good luck! So, the game of the show. There may have been F199, a new Colony Wars and a new G Police in the Signosis stand, but there's only one game everyone was interested in. Wipeout 3 is the latest instalment in the fastest, maddest and undoubtedly coolest racing series you'll ever play. It's got split screen, loads of new ships and blinding tracks around superbly designed cities of the future. It's simply the best game we've seen this year and we couldn't help going back for just one more go. It was a good job that Capcom's Resident Evil 3 was right next to Wipeout display. It was the only thing that could distract us. 3 certainly seems to be the magic number. This is the goriest, scariest, and most of all, best in the Resident Evil series so far. And it takes place before Resident Evil 2. Weird! But towering over the Capcom stand were Eidos, complete with Lara Croft in abundance. We were impressed with Fighting Force 2, a Tomb Raider style beat em up which creams on the first one, but it was Fear Factor which really did the job. An action adventure with a real cinematic slant is going to give Resident Evil a real run for its money. After the break, we'll be having a good look around the loudest stand of the show. It's EA, only in America. Enter the virtual reality world of the Interactor, where all the action jumps off the screen and into your gut. No. Hey, dork, plug it back in. The Interactor. Put it on, plug it in, crank it up, feel it all. Dude, let's plug it into the stereo. Available now from Accessories Direct. Call 0845 601 0015. Lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All major credit cards are accepted. Calls are charged at a low rate call. Electronic Arts did the business at E3, showing off the highly impressive Tomorrow Never Dies to the world. We love it, by the way. There was also the obvious FIFA 2000, and they won our award for best use of snow in a game. Sledstorm is mad motorised racing down the mountains of the world. It's like Wipeout on snow. Konami were a little quiet, sadly. They had the Metal Gear Solid add-on, but the most interesting thing was their first foray into the world of PlayStation racing for ages, Konami Rally. It's not the real name yet, but this is a truly realistic rallyer from the V-Rally school, which just left us Namco before lunch. Beg Sony Europe to bring Pac-Man World out in Britain, soon. There was no news of a European launch, but we loved it. 
There's 3D crash style levels and old school Maisy Mayhem too, with ghosts everywhere. Ace Combat 3 looks like it'll fly too. This arcade flight shoot em up is everything the other Ace Combats promised but simply didn't deliver. After we'd crashed our plane a few too many times for our liking, it was time for a bit of Dragon Valor, Namco's first 3D action adventure game. And judging by this, it won't be their last. But unfortunately, we're about to enter the last part of the show. Catch us after the break where we'll be taking around the rest of the games that mattered at E3. The galaxy was strewn with a scourge of 15 block memory cards until V-Memory 1000 hove into view with 72 times the storage space for up to 1,080 virtual game saves. Gamers everywhere heaved a sigh of relief. The battle had begun. V-Memory is a virtual memory system that plugs into the parallel port at the back of the PlayStation console. Its user-friendly interface makes it easy to navigate the 72 virtual memory cards available. So forget 15 block memory cards. They belong to the 20th century. Available now from Accessories Direct. Call 0845 601 0015. Lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All major credit cards are accepted. Calls are charged at a low rate call. Welcome back to E3 and the stand with most to be proud about, GT Interactive. Not only were they able to promise two new Oddworld games for PlayStation 2 and a brand new cutesy cuddly Spyro type game by the name of 40 Winks, they showed off the best finished game at the show, Driver. Yep, you've probably already got a copy of the greatest game so far this year. There really is no excuse. E3 was held just days before the American release of Star Wars The Phantom Menace on film. As you might have guessed, the entire country was Star Wars crazy, and the LA Convention Center was no exception. Staying on the film theme, Indiana Jones is officially confirmed for PlayStation. Now, we don't actually have any PlayStation shots, but just a taster, here's some PC footage of the original Tomb Raider. Codemasters had reason to be cheerful too. No Fear mountain biking is coming along nicely. Princess Team Boxing is certainly benefiting from a bit more development time. And Football Manager looks like it could be the first PlayStation management game to reach stunner status. It's that good. Gremlin figured in the British invasion of LA as well. They were showing off Rally Masters, now put back to avoid V Rally 2. European PGA Golf, their best go at golf yet. And the truly mad Hogs of War. Where else have you played as a warmongering pig in an action strategy game? Rounding up their impressive lineup was Gekido, a sideways scrolling beat em up adventure in the old school style. Only now you can pick up entire cars and love them at baddies. Bring it on! Tired and emotional in the final hour of the third day of the show, we needed cheering up. And if Hasbro couldn't keep doing it, Fox Interactive certainly could. They've got a superb roster of games for 99. Croc 2 will sell loads. The cute crocodile is back and far, far better than before. He's lean, he's green, and he's back in action. Yeah! Join Croc in a search for his long lost parents in the all new 3D adventure Croc 2. Croc's fiendish enemy Baron Dante is back and enlists a new gang of monsters to get revenge. <laughs> but Croc's got some hot new moves, including a high tail attack, a power flip, a hanging kick, and a super jump, along with tons of new gobos to help him. So Dante better watch his back. Alien Resurrection looks stunning too. We can't wait for more of this later this year. Participate in the resurrection. Alien Resurrection. And as for Planet of the Apes, well, what can we say? We'll just have to leave it to the apes themselves. And after that, prepare yourself for the very latest action replay codes.
Here at PlayStation Power, we're always inundated with requests for the latest action replay and GameShark cheat codes. So get your finger ready on the pause button, because here comes some of the latest. Don't say we haven't spoiled you. That was E3 and it was the best three days of our lives. Keep it locked to PlayStation Power. We're always first with all the best new games. Next month we take you around Resident Evil 3 before anyone else and there's even more news on the hottest console the world's ever seen, PlayStation 2. With more previews, interviews and reviews than anyone else, you can't miss it. Okay.